Ellie and Caleb Anderson here with Cascade Sotheby's International Realty and the Bend Property Pros team. The listing paperwork and the, and the preparation and getting your property ready is really an important part of the process of selling your home. There's a lot of paperwork that goes into it. So there's a, an employment agreement that is between the seller and us as agents. And that's what dictates the um, terms of the listing agreement and the terms of the um, commission and what's paid. And a lot of times people have um, not really a good understanding that the commission is actually between the seller and the listing agent and, and it's cooperative with the buyer's agent when they bring a buyer to the listing. So we go over all of that, but there's that employment contract, the listing contract that goes over all the features and forms and everything that, that goes into your house, then that's what will be used to input your house into MLS. Another one of the documents that you're going to see when you list your property is the agency pamphlet and agency agreement. Uh, the agency pamphlet is something, regardless of whom you're listing your property with in the state of Oregon, you should always receive a copy of the agency pamphlet, whether you're listing and selling a property or whether you're purchasing a property. It's a three-page disclosure that really goes over the fiduciary relationships between your real estate agent and you. And I think what's most important to know as uh, either a buyer or a seller, right now we're talking obviously about selling your home, but um, it, at the end of the day, we have a fiduciary obligation to you as your real estate agent, and as your realtors. And really what this means is we are always going to put your best interest first in the listing, the negotiation, and the sale of your property. In addition to the other documents that we've talked about, the seller's property disclosure is another really important part of the process. Every single property in the state of Oregon, when it's being listed, it is required to have a seller's property disclosure. It's a seven page document that will ask you several hundred questions about your property. They are pretty basic and straightforward answers to the most part. You're marking yes, no, or unknown. And any of those answers, as long as it's the truth about the property, are acceptable answers. And again, the, uh, the idea behind a seller's property disclosure is for you to give a good faith picture and understanding about your knowledge of the property and the home that you're selling. For example, we've had ice dams the last few years, so we have had quite a few properties around town that have had a little bit of ice damage. So that would be, uh, when, when you're filling out a seller's property disclosure, that'd be a great place to let any potential buyers know about that and then also fill out an additional couple sentences. If you have had work done to the home and, and it's something you need to disclose, then there's always the ability to add an extra piece or two of paper to that seller's property disclosure. We've talked about how there's a fiduciary relationship between us as your realtors and you as our client. And I, I do think it's important to know that the only thing that supersedes a fiduciary relationship in a real estate transaction is that we are required to be honest and forthright about anything with your property. So if there is something that has happened to the property that we're aware of, maybe there was an ice dam, some kind of damage, maybe there's something on the title that you know prevents the property from being sold, whatever that is, if, if it is something that that is specific to the property, we are required to be honest and truthful about that. And you as the seller of the property are required to be honest and truthful about that as well. And other than that, we're then scheduling photography, making sure that timing is right for getting the sign out, um, making sure that we're timing it well to hit the market at a good time, doing some pre-marketing stuff, calling brokers or builders or whoever we have relationships with before we list it, um, trying to drum up all of the anticipation for your property to hopefully never hit the market and be sold before it even goes live.